Brett Okamoto with ESPN alongside Roxanne Modafferi, who just shocked the world by beating Macy Barber at UFC 246 here in Las Vegas. And uh, do you mind me saying it that way, shocking the world? Does it does it feel like that to you? I am always shocking the world, whether it be beating people people don't think I should be beating or wearing amazing hairstyles for weigh-ins or whatever. I'm, I'm pleased. I'm happy. Roxy, you've been doing this for 17 years and you fought around the world. You fought very, very high level talent. Macy, you know, she, a lot of people were very, very high on her saying she could be the youngest UFC champion of all time. You just went out and pretty much dominated her. How satisfying is this win compared to some of the others in your career? Man, I'm so satisfied. I'm so relieved. You know, to get the win, I'm very happy with my performance. I felt very light on my feet. My coach, uh, head coach John Wood, had a great game plan: stay light, move around. He, he says like Dominic Cruz, like wanting me to like move a lot. Um, and um, I think I've gotten stronger. You know, uh, shout out to my other coaches: AJ Matthews, uh, Mike Pyle, Lorenzo Pavica, and Team Syndicate. I I think I did a lot of good stuff, and I'm I'm proud of myself. I mean, you're 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 constantly called a, the, like one of the nicest people in MMA and one of the happiest people in MMA, and and it's great to be known for that, right? I mean, everybody wants to be known nice and happy, but it, does it ever bother you that, that that's sort of what the narrative is, and especially when you're facing someone in Macy Barber, where they're talking about her skills and then how nice of a person you are? Not at all. It's cool. Um, I want to really show what a good martial artist should be like. I think that's one of my callings, you know. Um, teach kids jiu-jitsu, be a good martial artist, you know, show that, you know, you don't have to be angry and like, uh, you're a mama, blah, 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 in order to be a good fighter. And you know, like, I turn it on in the octagon, you know, so I, I get the job done. How about in a situation when, when you are, uh, you know, she's 10 to 1, the betting odds, the people in Las Vegas, and the Vegas, Vegas people make a lot of money. I mean, those casinos are nice, and that's, that's how they do it, right? They set those odds, and they're usually pretty on it. So when they make her a 10 to 1 favorite, how do you deal with, 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 with doubt, if, if, if any creeps in with you? I was a little surprised at how much of an underdog I was. I'm always the underdog. That's fine. Um, but like, I told all my friends to just bet on me, and I'm, they're pretty happy right now, I'm pretty sure. So cool, whatever. I mean, I, we could do, do we have any, uh, what were the biggest bets that were made? I mean, is anybody buying any boats or new houses after this one? Oh, man, I, one of my fans messaged me on social media that he bet a thousand on me. So cool, enjoy that. <laughs> You'd be asking for any of that or that's all? Um, he can keep it, but one of my fans actually PayPal'd me a hundred bucks after I won. So that's pretty cool. You know, I have, I have the best fans. What was the game plan against Macy Barber, and where did you see some holes where that you could potentially exploit? Um, Coach John Wood made my game plan. I suck at analyzing, so he said that you know uh, I should move around a lot, don't force anything. That's kind of one of my uh, weak points. Like I get fixated wanting to do something, so he said like don't force anything, just move around. You'll see the openings. Um, I uh, like I feel stiff sometimes when I strike. Uh, so I really wanted to show my personal growth as a fighter and like be more, you know, smooth and, and I think I, I think I did that. I'll have to rewatch the fight, but I felt really good. Well, for sure. And one of the big shots you landed was that that big punch that, that then she hurt her knee on. Did you recognize immediately that the knee was compromised, or when did you figure it out? Um, I downed her with the the strike, and she cried out, and I thought that was odd. Um, and then between the third, I think the third, the second and third round, they like checked her, and I heard my coach John saying, "Oh, she, her knee is hurt." I was like, "Oh, all right." And he said, "Don't go down to the ground." And then I went down to the ground, but whatever. <laughs> does, it, uh, does, it, does it worry you at all that that some people will say, "Well, like, oh, great performance by Roxy," but hey, you know, Macy hurt her knee. Is, is that, is that on, on your mind at all coming after this? Um, the fight happened like 30 minutes ago, so I really haven't had time to process it. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, well, I don't know. I hope she gets better. I, I felt kind of weird. This is the first time that I've noticed a fighter, my, my opponent, have an injury in the fight, so it was bizarre. Well, I, I, I saw that in, uh, in the comments that you gave to the UFC that you want to embrace a little bit of your dark side, that that's something that your team has been asking. Can you expand on that? What is this dark side that they're trying to pull out of you? All right, that's totally my coach, AJ. He's like, you're the dark side. I'm like, no, I'm not. Um, so we'll see. I kind of I kind of in tr tribute to that. You know, I've been doing a lot of Muay Thai clinching and elbows, and he's very into like, ah, elbow. So I did um, a little bit of the dark side with my weigh-in hair and stuff. I shan't elaborate upon that, but, you know, I'm, that was only in the cage. Maybe it only comes out in the cage. But otherwise, I'm a good, pure Jedi martial artist. Well, I don't know how much of, of, a, of a factor that played into your performance, but it definitely was a good performance. You're ranked number seven coming into this fight. Again, a lot of people high on Macy. Where do you think that this, uh, this victory places you in the division? I'm not sure, but I hope to stay in the top ten, you know, face good opponents 
everyone's good, but I just I'm excited to keep fighting and keep showing and keep keep showing I belong here and you know improve even more. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app and for live streaming and special content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.